Hello, beloveds of Yeshua. Uh, this is another quick Bible study. I just want to say a quick prayer. Uh, Ave, Ave, Yeshua, and precious Ruach Kakadesh. We do give you all praise, honor, and glory. Uh, help us to study your word, to be approved of you. We do worship you in spirit and in truth. We hunger and thirst after righteousness, Yeshua, and you promise that you would fill us and that you would fill us with your precious spirit. And we pray that your word will renew our mind will give strength to our physical body all the way down to the marrow of our bones and will strengthen our spirit which is our heart in the name of yushu mashiach i pray amen but uh, beloveds in the last study we studied the split between the 10 tribes in the north and the two tribes in the south which is judah and benjamin you're going to see here in scripture i'm just going to cover it real quick the situation gets very tragic. It gets, uh, rebellion takes place on both sides of the kingdoms. In the north, the king Jeroboam is an exceedingly wicked king. He plunges the ten tribes into exceedingly great wickedness to the point where they never recover. Yah, and you can see it in scripture. Uh, pronounces judgment upon the ten tribes because of the sins of Jeroboam. In the south, you have Rehoboam, and he does plunge Judah into great wickedness as well. Please turn with me to Second Chronicles chapter 12, and verse 15, in the very last sentence. You'll see the consequences of what happens. It says, and there were wars between Rehoboam and Jeroboam continually. The king of Judah, Rehoboam, dies, and his son takes the throne. His son is not a righteous man. His son's name is Abijah, but Yah uses him in a great way. And I'm going to read Second Chronicles chapter 13, verse 3, all the way to verse 17. And this is an absolutely awesome part of Scripture. And you're going to see the obedience of Judah. Now, of course, Yah uses the king because there's so many holy priests and holy prophets and holy warriors that go into battle against the ten tribes in the north, the northern kingdom. You're going to see the mighty hand of Yah at work here. It's absolutely awesome. And Abijah joined battle with an array of valiant men of war. Even 400,000 chosen men. And Jeroboam set the battle in array against him with 800,000 chosen men. Who were mighty men of valor. And Abijah stood up upon Mount Zamaram, Which is in the hill country of Ephraim. And said, Hear me, O Jeroboam and all Israel. All Israel. Ye not to know that Yahweh, the Yahweh of Israel, gave the kingdom over Israel to David forever, even to him and to his sons by a covenant of salt? Yet Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, the servant of Solomon, the son of David, rose up and rebelled against his master. And there were gathered unto him worthless men, base fellows, that strengthened themselves against Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, when Rehoboam was young and tender-hearted and could not withstand them. Have ye not driven out the priests of Yahweh, the sons of Aaron and the Levites, and made you priests after manner of the peoples of other lands? so that whatsoever cometh to consecrate himself with a young bullock and seven rams, the same may be a priest of them that are no deities. But as for us, Yahweh is our Yahweh, and we have not forsaken him. And we have priests ministering unto Yahweh the sons of Aaron and the Levites in their works. And they burn unto Yahweh every morning and every evening burnt offerings and sweet incense, the showbread, also 
set they in order upon the pure table, and the candlestick of gold with the lamps thereof, to burn every evening, for we keep the charge of Yahweh our Yahweh, but ye have forsaken him. And behold, Yahweh is with us at our head, and his priests with the trumpets of alarm to sound an alarm against you. O children of Israel, fight ye not against Yahweh, the Yahweh of your forefathers, for ye shall not prosper. But Jeroboam caused an ambushment to come out behind them. So they were before Judah, and the ambushment was behind them. And when Judah looked back, behold, the battle was before and behind them. And they cried unto Yahweh, and the priests sounded with the trumpets. Then the men of Judah gave a shout. And as the men of Judah shouted, it came to pass that Yahweh smote Jeroboam and all Israel before Abijah and Judah. And the children of Israel fled before Judah, and Yahweh delivered them into their hand. And Abijah and his people slew them with a great slaughter, so there fell slain. So there fell down slain of Israel 500,000 chosen men. Well, beloveds, another blessed Bible study for Yeshua's glory. Again, I pray many holy blessings upon you. I pray for the joy of Yahweh to be upon you as well. I pray for you to be baptized with the precious Ruach HaKadosh and wildfire anointing. And we have the faith. He's given us the water-walking faith, and he has the power. In Yeshua Mashiach's name, amen.